guys and welcome back to my channel. I have a rather large and random Target haul for you guys today. But before I get started, I want to address the hand. So if you watched my last video, it was a plan with me. You might have noticed that my hand was really swollen and I was having trouble writing. I was trying to just fake it through the entire video, but I had really severe pain in my wrist and I actually sprained it. So <laughs> I've had it wrapped for a few days and then um, one of our friends from the kids' school suggested, because she had sprained her wrist before, that I get a wrist brace. So this is actually one of the things I bought at Target last night that goes along with this haul. So I got this wrist brace. Um, it is much better than just having it wrapped because it has kind of like a metal insert here that keeps my hand stiff so that I can't really bend it. I mean, I can kind of bend it and it will hurt a little, um, but I can't really bend it as much. Um, this is my right hand. It's my dominant hand. I'm not used to not being able to use my wrist. So um, a lot of times I'm just hurting it more. So I'm hoping that this brace will help me to remember not to try to lift things, push things, close things, just basically do anything with my hand. It hurts tremendously. Uh, the other day I was just doing schoolwork and it was killing me to type. So um, yeah, so that's the first thing I want to address. But let's get started. So the whole reason we went to Target is because they have a um, digital coupon that you can get on anything storage and organization. And we needed new trash cans. So we got these um, Sterilite Ultra Step On 4 Gallon trash cans and I like it because it has this removable insert. Now um, Junior, my son, which is six years old, he does the trash. So every Sunday night he walks around the entire house and he gathers all the trash. They take it out to the big trash can and then my husband will walk down with him as he walks the trash down to the curb. It's one of his responsibilities in the house. So I've been noticing I have these little dinky um, like Dollar Tree trash bins in my bathroom, my bedroom, and Kaylee's room, and they fall over and trash just spills out of it, and it's just craziness, and every time I clean up, I try to pick the stuff up, but I was getting kind of annoyed with it, and I also realized that when he was picking up the trash, sometimes he was leaving some things behind, so my husband and I decided that we needed to go invest in some better trash cans. Now, they definitely had cheaper trash cans, trash cans than this but um my husband's very particular let's just put it that way and he noticed that most of them had wider tops and smaller bottoms which made them kind of not so sturdy i don't they just fall over easier that way so we picked up these and we're going to give these a try i think the trash can that junior has in his bedroom which is a really big ikea one which i love oh it's not huge but it's an ikea one which i like i have that kind in the kids bathroom i think he's going to give us the one from his room so he can have a cool step on one so we'll probably just have these in the bedrooms but i grabbed three of these okay so target still has their 25 percent off women's apparel and we actually went to a different Target. Uh, to make a long story short, where I live, there used to be a Target about five minutes down the street. It was not a super Target. It was just a regular Target. But they closed it down. And where I live, I'm exactly in the middle of two different Targets. Last night, we were just closer to a different, the other Target, not the one I usually go to. While I was there, they still had the 25% off of women's apparel. And um, last week, I bought myself like a long sweater like a thicker one like a long cardigan thicker sweater and it has like the tie because that's the clothing I like to wear and I kind of need new winter clothes because mine are getting kind of dingy so we've been buying little by little I've been buying myself a few things and I saw this um button down plaid shirt and I got the red and the black. They have a bunch of different ones. At first I was going to get black and gray, but I have so much black and gray clothing. And then they also had a blue one, which I was going to get, but almost all my clothes are black, gray, and blue. So I wanted to get something different, and I thought I could wear this maybe for Thanksgiving or even, I mean, if we have a relaxed Christmas. So I picked this up, and I thought it was really cute, and it fits perfect to wear with leggings because it covers the bum. And then also while we were at Target, I needed socks. So I've already opened these because I'm actually wearing a pair of the white ones. But um, I just got some of these um, 
G9 Champion Active Socks. I really like these from Target. This Target had a lot of Halloween stuff, so we were looking through the Halloween stuff. I was thinking to buy the kids more dress-up things, but after I thought about it for a while, I realized that they have way too much. So um, I actually just got them their costumes that I think they'll be wearing for next year's Halloween. I'm hoping that by next year's Halloween they're still into it. Uh, fingers crossed, I guess. Um, but while we were there, we saw this cute little girl's shirt, and it just has like a skeleton, and it shows the heart, and then candy in the belly. And it's originally $5.99, but we paid $1.80 for this shirt, and it's a large, so it's a little bit big for Kaylee's, but she can still wear it, and she can definitely wear it next year. Like I said, I also picked up costumes for the kids, so I picked them up a size bigger. The one I got Junior looks humongous, but I'm hoping that either he can grow into it or I can just make it work for next year if he's still into it. But Kaylee's picked this witch costume and it's actually called a Starry Bat Witch and it brings this cute little headband with the little witch hat on it and I thought it was cute. And she wants to be a witch because she wants me to do her makeup. Um, she did see Hocus Pocus this year for the first time and she really liked it so I'm hoping that next year she's still into this and she can wear this for Halloween and this was originally priced $30 and I got it for $9 so um, definitely check out your targets to see if they have any Halloween stuff left. This target had a bunch like a bunch of Halloween stuff. They had a lot of adult costumes. They didn't have too much in like my kids size now because my kids are in a medium and I think that's just a really popular size but I got these in a large so hopefully um, for Kaylee's I'm not too worried because it could be long. I'm just hoping that Jingers will fit him because it's humongous. Also in the Halloween section I found these little candy bracelets with pendants and they're like little Disney Halloween treats and I bought two packs of them. They were three dollars. They bring 26 each and I figured this will be perfect for classroom treats for next year. I can just add like a pencil and they had pencils and erasers. I just didn't think to buy them. I just thought of it now so maybe I'll go back tomorrow and see if they had any. But you can add like Halloween pencils and little spider rings and a little treat bag with these and this will be the perfect treat for the class. So I got two of those. And then here is Junior's costume. And this one was also originally $30 but I got it for 9 And this is a Donatello Ninja Turtle costume and it brings the mask. It has the shell on the back. Um, it brings, I don't know. Oh, the shell is actually inflatable. And it brings some other accessories with it. I guess, um, like the knee pads. The staff is the only thing that's separate. Now this is humongous, it's a large, but I'm hoping either he's gonna grow into it or I can make it work. I was just afraid to buy his current size because I'm not sure if it'll fit him next year. And I don't wanna put it away and save it for next year and then it doesn't fit him. And I feel like he can be a Ninja Turtle for, if not next year, the year after, and it'll still be okay because he's only six. So um, I got him that one. Then I picked up this um, Maisto Tech radio controlled um, like remote control car and Junior actually picked this out. Uh, he has a birthday party to go to on Sunday and the little boy is from his football team and really loves remote control cars so we picked this up and there was a digital like text in coupon for I think 25% off of um, toys and like craft stuff so I got I got that coupon too. Now, I've been going to like I've been going to every Target and searching for these little notebooks. They're the puzzle notebooks. They're three dollars from the dollar section in Target. I saw Molly, Mama of Three Boys, post a picture of it, and I just have to have these. Um, the kids are having a Lego themed birthday party this year, and I really want to give these out as favors for that but I've only found four of them and we invite way more than four kids so I'm not sure exactly what I'm gonna do but anytime I find them I pick them up and there's the box for my wrist brace um, it's called the Futuro and it's reversible and then in the Halloween section they had some men's shirts as well they didn't have any boys shirts unfortunately so I didn't get to get Junior a shirt but my husband got this Batman shirt and it brings the cape and my husband's a huge Batman fan so that was perfect for him. Um, this was originally $14.99 and we paid $5.60 for it so 
it's perfect for him. And then now we're getting into the fun stuff. So the dollar section in this Target was um, in the beginning stages of being transitioned. If you're not familiar, the dollar spot in Target is going to be trans transitioned over to Bullseye's Playground, I believe. And they're going to start hanging stuff. It's just going to be a better layout. And this, this dollar spot, I'm not sure if it was fully transitioned because it didn't have the different signs. But it was stocked up with Christmas stuff and it was at least partially transitioned. Oh, and I couldn't on. resist because if you know me, you know that I love Christmas. So, um, Junior found this wooden nutcracker that looks like Santa and it was three dollars and I thought he was cute and we'll put him up on one of the shelves um, they had a bunch of different ones I might go back and get another one depending on where I'm gonna put this I've got to look through my current Christmas decorations before I can make a full decision on that I also got this kid the kids these uh, this like gingerbread house type um, like countdown calendar we usually do like a homemade one where I print out like a Santa face and we glue um, cotton balls to it but I thought this one would be much cooler and since it's reusable for every year um, I think it'll be better and I think it'll be cute in the dining room near the kids desk area and it has just this little gingerbread man that you can move around to all the numbers so I thought that was cute and it was three dollars and they had the cutest pillows so I grabbed two of them um, I grabbed this red um, like pounds to I think that's called with the reindeer head on it three dollars I'm not sure exactly where I'll put it I'm thinking um, the bay window seat in my dining room but we shall see because like I said I've got to go through what I already have because I know I do have some pillows up there and I also picked up this one that says Noel I just thought these were cute and if anything I could I have a basket I could just put them in the basket and it might look cute as like a little decoration and then I could not resist the snowflake because I love snowflakes and snowmen so I thought that was cute and again these pillows were three dollars they're not huge but I think they're cute as little accents especially for Christmas decoration there's another Christmas thing I picked up these towels for the kitchen I just thought they were cute they have snowflakes on them and they only had one set of these left so they had a different print which I can't remember but I'd like to pick up one more set of these I thought they were super cute they're gray and white snowflakes with a red towel and the back towel is like a gray and white chevron so I thought that was cute and then I picked this up from the dollar spot. It was $3 and it says home is where the, and it has like a dog paw print, so like where the dog is. So I thought that was cute and I've been looking for something like this to put up in our house to kind of signify Melody because she's a huge part of our family. I really want, I saw one in Hobby Lobby that's like a plaque that says something about a dog to hang over her little bed area we created in our bay window seat. But for $3, I could not leave this there. I thought this was super cute. Yeah, we've got one more small bag, and in it I got some Expo markers. I have a dry erase calendar that I use every month. It's our family calendar. It's in our command center, and that's where I write everything that's going on for everyone. And I had gotten a red Expo marker from something. <laughs> can't remember what but it was like a free sample and I love these ultra fine tip ones so I picked up a pack it was like three dollars or something like that and it brings a red a blue a green and a black and then my husband saw this banner it's a sports banner it has football a basketball court baseball a soccer field football the basketball court baseball and the soccer field on it and it's by spritz so it's like their party line and this was 70% off for a dollar fifty and we've I don't want to change Junior's room just yet because we just made it superhero themed but we are thinking about probably in the next two years changing his theme out to sports because he's getting really into sports and I want his room to reflect him so I want to keep it the comic book theme for now but we're thinking about changing it so we're just gonna keep this and put this out put this away so that we have it to put up in his room if we do change it and I kind of think that he might just be able to put it up in his room even if we don't change it but we'll see and there was a few red stickers in the 
nail polish section. So this is by Simple Shine, and it says Simple Shine with Gel Tech, and it's kind of like a silvery, glittery color, and it was a dollar forty-eight, and it's called Diamond in the Raw. So there's that color. Yes, and they are the color with Gel Tech, and then the top coat to seal it in and I needed a good top coat so that's pretty awesome and these were $2.98 each and this one is in the color hmm, where did I find the color this one's in the color al fresco it's like this pretty blue color this one's in the color royal flush and it's kind of like a pinkish purple color so I thought those were cute and they bring the top coat so that's everything so that is everything we picked up at Target like I said they have Halloween candy they have Halloween costumes still at that Target anyway so of course it's based on your location um, have they changed your dollar spot in your store yet? Let me know definitely in the comments down below. And thank you guys so much for watching. Give me a thumbs up for more haul videos. If you haven't already, please hit the subscribe button down below. It would make me super duper happy. And I will talk to you guys later. Bye.